Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lara, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, bro, we about to talk about something that's really trending right now. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Something on live went on Google, you know, just looking up a couple things, you know, or whatever like that. And Everson Griffin, I think that's how you said his name. This dude is trending. Trending. So... My microphone, shout out to microphone, man. You know, Everson Griffin posts a terrifying video onto Instagram. I don't know what it is. So we're just going to check it out, man. Shout out to microphone for the video. Yo, yo, yo. I'm in my house. He tried to pop me. I still got clips left. This is my gun. I really wanted to take what my the hell? on this, man, because I am very familiar with Everson Griffin's situation and his mental history. So what I'm about to show you, I'm going to admit, is a little graphic. This video is going to get demonetized, which means YouTube isn't going to push it out to a larger audience. And you already know Swag Game. Please make sure you like the video and share the video as well, man. Let's get into it. So, of course, you guys know a way we could counteract that is if you leave a like on the content. It does wonders Let's for make the sure channel. We pass this, man. Also, if you subscribe and turn on our notifications, you'll... Got it. Got to hit this intro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check one, two, one, two, what's going on, everybody? So in order to really understand what is going on All right, with see. the entire story, about 10 hours ago, Everson Griffin posted this screenshot onto his Instagram story saying, I need help. People are trying to kill me at my own house. Oh. Now, it's really important, before we dive into this, that you understand Everson Griffin has a history of mental difficulties. And the Minnesota what? Vikings are very much well aware of this. Like, in the beginning of the 2018 NFL season, and when he was with the Minnesota Vikings, Everson Griffin and his agent were sent a letter from the Vikings saying that he would not be allowed back with the team until he underwent a mental health evaluation. Wow. A few days later, Everson Griffin was involved in an incident at Hotel Ivy where he allegedly threatened to shoot someone because he was not allowed in his room. Now, Damn. Know if this sounds familiar. According to the Minnesota Star Tribune, Griffin was growing increasingly paranoid and feared that someone was trying to kill him in the weeks and days ahead of the incident in 2018. Damn, a we got a problem. Later, he would get taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. So he's had situations like this before, and this is something that the Minnesota Vikings are very much aware of, which is kind of why I was really happy to see this man return to the Minnesota Vikings after a 2020 season last year, yeah. where he signed a one-year contract with Dallas. Dallas. Then after a few weeks with the Cowboys, he would get traded to the Lions. And then this past offseason, he would re-sign with the Minnesota Vikings. Because I feel like this is Which the not that bad. understands who Everson Griffin is. The same exact front office is still there. The same coaching staff is still there. So they understand the situation really well. Now, take a look at the video to see what happens. Yeah, we got to check this out. Celebrate the holidays with Damn. the lasting scent of Old Spice. Let's get life. this. Yo, 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 I'm in my house. He's trying to pop me. I still got clips left. This is my gun, 45 Wilson Combat. Register to me. I bought all my bullets around town. Dalvin Cook helped me purchase this gun. It all belongs to me, and they are registered to me. So I know exactly where I bought them. I got the card I have them on. I have everything, so. So again, very What strong. the hell? Everson Griffin thinks that he's under attack and he begins to discuss how he has a weapon oh, he's and how tripping. registered to him and how apparently Dalvin Cook helped him acquire this weapon, which we're going to get to Dalvin Cook's response in a moment. And I just want you guys Damn. to be aware that the Minnesota Vikings... And to be honest, bro, why you had to put it out there that Dalvin Cook helped you get a gun? Like, you could get him in trouble or something. Like, like I don't know. It's just, But why would you put him out there like that, bro? Yeah, he obviously has a problem, bro, because it don't seem like nobody's trying to get into his home, bro. It's just like he's holding a gun and, and just looking just weird, bro. Yeah, he has a problem. He needs help, you know. I really hope he gets help. I like Everson Griffin, man. That dude is that dude is like one of the best defense and ends uh, for the Minnesota Vikings, and he and he's also like that. He I say he's like top ten. 
uh, or whatever like that. So, bro, man, he bro, he got to get better. He's had to deal with this before. Bear in mind, in 2018, once again, he thought someone was trying to kill him. What? I'm not trying to say that this isn't a big deal, but I am trying to say that there is reason to be optimistic about this situation. You gotta get help. a lot more information on this situation. He would then post this onto his Instagram page between him and his agent, and the text conversation is very scary if you look at it. They can find me, Pico said. Thank you for everything, Murph Daddy. I need help. Better call 911. People are trying to kill me. Help. Hello. I need help. What? Now, three hours he later, tripping. he would text back Everson Griffin saying, are you okay? How can I help? Are you safe? And thankfully, at least four hours later, Everson Griffin would start sharing his location with his agent, which is a very, very good sign, and then would say, help, please. Now, Damn. in this video, I'm sure you notice... He also mentioned Dalvin Cook, so this is what Dalvin Cook had to say. Yeah, we got. I, yeah, I got it here. Dalvin, you're pretty close to him, right? What does he mean to you? I mean, what kind of relationship do you guys have? Yeah, since I got here, he was one of the older guys that just took me under his wings and just taught me, you know, you know, this what you don't do, this how you do it, you know, this how you take care of your body, you know, you just how to be a pro, and you know, just appreciate him for that. For the, for the little things he did. Yeah. But, you know, since he's got back, I think our relationship that got just got stronger. You know, he's just been, you know, trying to win games. And we've been just been on the same mission. All this just trying to win games, trying to get better. Yeah. Trying to lead this team in the right way. And, you know, um, so, you know, we, we definitely close. We, that's my brother. So I just want him to be, you know, okay. Just, just you know, okay. his mind, you know, make sure his family okay. And I just want what's best for, you know, Everson overall. And then, of course, Damn. the Minnesota Vikings and the Minnetrista, Minnesota Public Safety Department would also give a release. So this is what the Vikings had to say. Vikings representatives and the team's mental health professionals have been on site at Everson Griffin's home since early this morning and are cooperating with law enforcement. Our only concern at this time is the safety and well-being of Everson and his family. We will have further comment at the appropriate time. And then we're going to get to what the Vikings are probably feeling about the situation in a second, because this is what the Minnetrista Public Safety Department would have to say about it. On November 24, 2021, the Minnetrista Police Department, with the support of the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, the Carver County Sheriff's Office, and the Orano Police, responded early this morning to the home of Minnesota Vikings player Everson Griffin. Okay. The home is located in the 5700 block of Hard Scrabble Circle in Minnetrista, Minnesota. Shortly Ew. after 3 a.m., Griffin called 911 from the residence and said someone was inside his home and that he needed help from the police. Wow. Griffin also told the 911 dispatcher that he fired a weapon, but no one was injured. What? When law enforcement agencies responded, they were unable to locate an intruder. Since approximately 7 a.m., law enforcement and psychologists from the Minnesota Vikings have been in ongoing communication with Griffin who has refused to come out of his residence. At this time, law enforcement officers are confident that Griffin is alone inside the home and continue to work with him to resolve the situation. There's no information available to us at this time. So this was a few yeah, hours ago. Tripping. A lot of people are assuming that the Minnesota Vikings are going to release Everson Griffin, but I don't think that's what's going to happen here. This isn't like when Damon Arnett pulled out a weapon and threatened to kill someone. Yeah. This is a man that is literally having a psychological breakdown. He with is. a team that is very understanding and very familiar with his mental makeup. I yeah. mean, bear in mind, this is a guy that went through a similar situation. And shout out to the Minnesota Vikings, bro. Like, y'all, y'all, they real for that. Like, they trying to make sure he get his help so, you know, he can get back on the field. Situation ...three years ago with the same exact team. And with this team knowing all of this information, they still signed him this past offseason. Yeah. So I'm very confident that this isn't going to be a career-altering situation because the man is literally having a mental breakdown. And yeah. hopefully they could get him the help he needs. But if there is one thing that I would want to keep an eye on is there is no way that Everson Griffin should be allowed to have a weapon in his home. I mean, 
things could get really scary as a result yeah. of this man having a weapon in his home. And if there's one thing I would want to rectify from this situation is to take that weapon away. Man. Yeah. Because one bad thing, one wrong situation, or one wrong Ooh. thought goes into his head, and that weapon could be used for something significantly more tragic. Yeah. So never mind, this situation isn't over. We're going to keep an eye on it. But for now, things could be a lot worse than what they are. And our prayers are with Everson Griffin. Damn, man. That's crazy, man. Anyways, man. Make sure you comment, subscribe. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Just pray for Everson Griffin, man. Hopefully he get better.